Hello everyone, for today's video I'll be showing you some practical tests comparing synchronized and non-synchronized actuators to help you choose which one will be best for your application. When operating multiple actuators, it is important to consider how they will be controlled. For example, on an automated sit-stand desk like this one, it is important for the position to remain the same regardless of how the weight is distributed on it. Controllers like these provide synchronized motion. Here we have the FLT-CON and PA40, which read the Hall effect sensors on the actuators to ensure that multiple actuators are always in the same position. An example of non-synchronized control is multiple actuators connected to the same power source using a parallel connection, or a Y-splitter to be specific. This seems like a very easy and cheap option, right? In most cases, it is. It's perfect. However, what will happen if there's more load on one actuator compared to the other? Or what if one actuator gets disconnected? In a non-synchronized system, there is nothing preventing the actuators from wreaking havoc on your application, as you can see here. On the other hand, synchronized systems not only ensure that the actuators are in the same position, but in the event of a disconnect, the actuators stop moving. The test is simple. Operate two actuators with synchronization and without while subjecting them to different weight distribution scenarios to see how much the final position varies. The FLT-CON Hall Effect control box with presets will be used for synchronized control, and a rocker switch with a Y-splitter will be used for non-synchronized. Instead of linear actuators, two lifting columns called the FLT-03-2-2 will be used. It has the exact same behavior as a linear actuator with the addition of a built-in frame for our vertical load testing. With no load, the non-synchronized system had fairly close final positions, but as the weight difference grew, so did the difference. Interestingly, even with 90 pounds on both actuators, there is still a large difference in final position. This shows that actuators have slight variations in their speed and load operation characteristics. Real-world applications don't always need perfect synchronization. However, as you've seen in our tests, one very good way to make sure that your actuators are in the same position is to use a synchronized control system with compatible sensors. Well, that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed our testing and found it to be helpful. Make sure to subscribe and stay tuned for more videos and tutorials. Take care and I'll see you soon.